One of the key themes of our show tonight is simply this. We have a very troubled company. It's called the U.S. government. And I ask, isn't it time for turnaround experts, private equity turnaround, like Bain Capital's Mitt Romney, take it over, downsize it, completely restructure it? It may sound funny, tongue-in-cheek, but I am serious. Let's ask Oklahoma Republican Senator Tom Coburn, who himself just recently released his Wastebook 2011. He details more than $6 billion in unnecessary federal spending. And that was just at the back end of last year. Senator Coburn, welcome back to the show. You know, Good to I, be with you, Gary. Right. It's just a little politics here. I mean, everyone's beating up on Romney and Bain Capital and private equity. But what they do is take over to restructured troubled companies. And I've never seen a company quite as troubled as the U.S. government. What's your thinking on this? Well, if it was a company, it wouldn't have existed three or four years ago. It would already, you know, I, I guess the, the thing I would say is we're bankrupt, but people aren't haven't come to the conclusion to recognize the consequences of that and that's what's so worrisome over the next two years is will the Congress actually make the decisions to save the country versus uh, the calamity that will befall us if we don't. Is it going to take somebody like Romney seriously with his business? I'm not really asking for an endorsement. It's more a generic point because of the wave of criticism that oh my gosh some people were laid off. There's going to have to be layoffs in the federal government. There's going to have to be fewer departments and agencies won't there? Well, I think really the problem, the answer to your question is yes, but the way we ought to think about it is two questions. One is, are the things that the federal government doing now, are they within the role as envisioned by our founders for the federal government to do? That's the first question. Uh, the second question is what we do, is it a priority even if it is within the realm of what we would call the enumerated powers. Mm. And, the, the, and the waste book we put out, we asked two questions. One, is it a role for the federal government? And given our financial consider, consideration and, and situation we find ourselves in, should we be doing these things now? And, and the answer to those questions, uh, you know, that's what we ought to be asking about everything that the federal government does. And if you ask that question appropriately, you'd find a federal government a third smaller than what it is today. A third with smaller. A, with a surplus. With a Surplus. That sounds about right, a third smaller. So let me ask you, should the federal government be spending money on video games and uh, robot dragons? And here's what I love this one. I found it. $10 million to remake uh, Sesame Street in Pakistan. Yeah. I, uh, just just raising the question, most Americans, you know, uh, what it is is the disgust and, and the, the Americans are kind of where they want to just throw their hands up and say, I can't believe they're doing those things. And only in Washington are those things defended. And, and, and when it's not in Washington, it's only those people who are actually getting the money to do those things that are defending them. I mean, you have a larger list, as I recall, a much larger list of overall budget cuts that we're going to need in the next bunch of years. What's that list worth? It's worth $9 trillion. Uh, we, we could actually take and downsize the federal government. That would include a trillion dollars of interest savings, but we could downsize the federal government, reform the tax code, uh, get rid of a lot of the tax expenditures that are there now that, that only help those directly benefiting from the tax expenditure, and you could save $9 trillion. There, there would be some, some difficulty with it, some uh, indigestion, but the fact is, is not doing that, the consequences are disastrous. Senator, last one for you. Today, President Obama announced a kind of merger, the Commerce Department, the Trade Rep, and the Small Business Administration. As I understand it, $3 billion of savings over 10 years. It ain't much, but maybe he's beginning to see that the Bain Capital downsizing model is right. What's your take on the Obama package today, sir? Uh, I haven't seen the complete details. Uh, I've worked with Jeff, Jeff Zients, uh, who is his man doing that. At, at OMB, and uh, I applaud their efforts. Uh, that's a good first step. We need to do 20 or 30 times that. Uh, we need to give real line authority to managers and government, hold people accountable, and when they're not performing, eliminate them. All right, Senator Tom Coburn of Oklahoma, we appreciate, appreciate right. your insights. Thank you, sir. All right, that's it for this evening's show. Many thanks for watching. We're going to be off Monday for the Martin Luther King holiday. We will see you back on Tuesday, and I continue my mantra. It's